look how slim that is. Stainless steel case that has a key ring on it. I like it because it is environmentally friendly. I don't know if you could say this has a feel, but it feels sexy to me. I don't need anything, don't buy me anything. I told you not to buy me anything, I don't need anything. I think some of us have heard those words before when we're trying to buy something for our men as gifts. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you some great gifts that they probably don't have or they want that you can buy for them this holiday season. If there's one thing I've learned over my 60 years is that buying for a man for gifts can be really challenging sometimes. So I've put some special thought into these gifts that I'm gonna show you today that might make some great additions for your male traveler and some great holiday stocking stuffers for him. What I like about most of these gifts is they're things I would actually use too, but I think they make great gifts for men and a lot of them fit right in your pocket. Start off today with some grooming tools that I think would be great gifts, whether he's at home or if he's traveling, but these make great gifts, especially if he's a traveler, so let's go through them. Grooming is one of those things where there's not a lot of choices for men, but I found a few things here that you might find really interesting to give to your guy for the holidays. And one is a nail clipper that is super, super thin, and it comes with its own leather sheath so that if he wants to keep it in the leather sheath and keep it in his pocket, great. Or if he wants to keep it just like this in his pocket without the sheath, that's great too. But I like the little leather sheath that it comes in. It just keeps it nice and compact. And that way, if it's in your pocket, it's nothing sharp on the edges gonna be sticking into you. This nice, slim nail clipper right here comes with its own leather sheath, as well as having this slim nail clipper. And you just simply pull back here, and this opens up to become a nice nail clipper. And yes, I have used it. It clips my fingernails and my toenails. And again, look how slim that is. Nice and slim, a great thing to have in your pocket. This is my favorite nail clipper for travel. This next thing is part of the same thing. It is a nice file that has a shaping as well as a finishing edge. It's a nice size. This is TSA approved in the United States. So you can take that with you and it comes into it with a nice leather sheath. And the pair of these together make a great part of a grooming kit, especially if your guy's a traveler. I like a clean shaven man and this kit will help keep him that way. This is a beautiful leather little pouch here that inside has a razor. This razor kit is in this beautiful leather case and I think it's just wonderful. I like it because it is environmentally friendly and it is um, all metal. There's no rubber or plastic in any of this. So it's going to last for years. I remember my dad having a razor very much like this when I was younger. And this is going to allow you to put the handle together like this. And then you take this here and you put a blade in, put this on top, and then you simply just screw this on here. And now you'll have a nice blade to shave with a nice compact size. It has a good weight to it, so it's not too light, but it is just a beautiful piece that will last for years. Again, the blades are not, you don't wanna keep the blade in If you're doing carry-on only, you'll have to remove the blade and get a new one. But if you're doing check luggage or you want something for at home, this makes a great gift. But they also do make um, different razors for this that you can actually travel with, but I liked this. It's really environmentally friendly all metal, no plastic, and again, comes in this beautiful leather case, so it's perfect for travel. This little case is a wonderful thing for those men who like to have a toothpick on the go, but sometimes you just can't get to a wooden toothpick. I bet he's never thought of a metal toothpick like this. And this is a stainless steel case that has a key ring on it. And these come with three of these metal picks. Um, David has one right now, so that's why there's only two in here. But as you can see, they are quite sharp, so you'll need to be careful. But they are reusable. Just clean them off. They're, they're stainless steel, and you can keep two or three of these in for you, or just one if you need to, and keep it in this little case, and it'll hang on a keychain or anything. But that way, you're never going to be having to search for a wooden toothpick if you have this. I don't know how many times we go out to dinner and I can't find a toothpick or David can't find a toothpick. This has come in handy a few times. 
Of course, if your guy is traveling, he's going to want something like this, which is a leather valet that just snaps together. A nice leather valet like this is just beautiful. And it's something that they can travel easily with. And it comes together so nicely to hold all of those little things that you want to travel with, like your grooming kit and such. This is a great travel gift to give. And it fits right into a, a flat pocket or even with your laptop. This is a great thing to give. It keeps everything organized by your bedside. This is a great little travel gift. This next section is multi-tools and for me I always carry multi-tool and most men I know carry a knife or a multi-tool with them when they travel and it's really hard to travel with a knife when you are traveling. You're not going to be able to put it through carry-on only so if you want to bring one normally you have to put it into checked luggage but I have two here I'm going to show you that you can bring with you through TSA and make sure you have a little knife on your travel adventures. So although these aren't technically knives, you do get a sharp edge with something like this. This tiny slim box cutter has a clip on it to wear it on a belt or a pocket and opens up to a nice blade here. You'll unscrew this to take the blade out. So when you're traveling carry on only, you want to take that out. To close the blade, you'll push this and this simply allows you to close the blade back up. So depending on where you're traveling, if you're allowed to carry a blade, this is something good for your traveler or just to have at home. These are utility blades and they're very easy to find anywhere. You can usually get a pack of five at any hardware store or Target, Walmart, things like that. And that way you can have a blade with you while you're on your travel adventures. And when you're on your way back home, simply take the blade and throw it out. Again, you can always put this into your check luggage, but if you're a carry-on only person, this is an option for you. The next option I have that's in that same category is this one right here. And as you can see, it is really not much thicker than a credit card. Following along the same lines is this ultra thin blade. It's actually a multi-tool because there's several things it can do. So as you can see here, it has a blade and there's a button right here you can push and I can open this with one hand. So that's what I loved about this is I can open it with one hand, close it with one hand just by pressing that button. That is also how you remove the blade. So you'll just take that and then take the blade out. You will not travel carry on only with this, but you can travel with this. And this has a few different things on it. Number one, it has a way to measure right here. So you can use it as a measuring tool, two different ways to measure up here as well. This is a bottle opener and you have a little Phillips head screwdriver here, a flat head screwdriver here. It comes with this little hex bolt. So this would fit right in here and allow you to use it um, for two different sizes to open something up. So another great thing to have. This is a great super flat multi-tool. Again, when you're going home, you're just going to toss that blade out and this will not get stopped through TSA because there's really nothing else on this. It just becomes a multi-tool. So this will get you through carry on only. This next tool truly is a multi-tool because there are actually tools in with it. This multi-tool comes with a place to put a belt. So if you wanted to carry it on your belt, but it also means that the multi-tool has its own clip as well. So if you want to clip this onto a pocket or a belt, this works well. As you can see here, it has a lockout so that this little handle is able to be locked out and not opened if you don't need it to be. Also, again, it has the um, adjustable wrench right here, which is always nice to have. It also has a place for flathead and Phillips head screwdrivers right here so that you can use these and you're on the go. This also has a substantial blade. So if somebody wanted to use this with a nice handle and a blade, this works well. And of course, to close it back up, you're just going to press this to release and close that blade. Again, you need to make sure wherever you're traveling is going to allow you to carry a blade. Some places allow a blade. Some places don't allow lockout blades like this. So just be aware and check where you're going is if you're allowed to carry this at all. It also comes with this set of bits here. All of these bits come with this and that allows you to use it with this set right here. So I'm going to take this out and this is going to allow me to put 
this adapter on the end here that's in there good what I like about that is you're not going to lose it because it's going to fit in there nicely and you're going to put this on and that way you can put some different bits onto this and use this to open things up or tighten things down so another great literally multi-tool to take with you this if you're a hiker or a biker this is a great tool to have with you all the time and all of this fits right into its own little case this truly is your toolbox in a bag I know this doesn't seem like something you'd want to take necessarily as a multi-tool and it kind of depends on where I'm going or where someone's going as to whether they would carry something like this. If I'm doing some hiking or I'm going to be doing some biking, something like this comes in really handy because it's going to give me a lot of tools to help me work with and take up a very minimal amount of space. So just another great tool set to have. Again, you this is like a toolbox in your pocket. I love this little set. Next set of stuff were just little gadgets and things that I have brought with me myself while traveling, but have been very helpful. And I, my boyfriend has borrowed them and things like that as well. One is this little spoon and fork set. Super slim and super light is this combo fork and spoon set that, you know, if you are someone who goes out to eat sometimes and you know, they just end up sometimes forgetting to give you some utensils. This is also better for the environment because you're using something that's reusable. And this little set is with me all the time. One of my favorites it makes a great little gift. You know, I don't know how many times we've gone out on little picnics or, you know, gone down the street and bought something to eat and they've forgotten to put silverware or something in the bag. This I can pop up out of my purse and I have a fork and a spoon to bring along with me. And that's pretty much all you really need most of the time is a fork and a spoon. This is a great little set to have. This next thing I have, as you can see, is about the size of a credit card. And what this does is becomes a stand for your phone. If you are someone who likes gadgets and are a minimalist, this is another great one. This is a, you'll see it's as thin as a credit card but it is a phone stand that opens up like this. It's adjustable with different places here to put the phone stand to hook in. And then you simply just put your phone right in here. So this way, if you are on the go and you wanna do some watching of a video or a movie or do a selfie or something, this little stand works out great. And again, it folds as flat as a little credit card right here, fits right in your wallet. A nice thin phone stand is one of those things I always have with me when I'm traveling. This next thing is a magnetic wallet that magnetically attaches to your phone. This small little leather wallet is magnetic and it'll allow you to magnetically put it onto the back of a phone like this so you can carry it around. What I love about this is that it's leather so it feels really nice in the hand. It has a place to hold just a few credit cards. And if you wanted to use this just as a wallet in your pocket with a few cards or some cash, this works out great. Another great stuffer and gift for your guy. So that you could put things like your phone stand if you wanted to right in here. This is a great thing for your minimalist guy who doesn't want to carry a wallet, but always wants to have his phone. This works great. This next thing is a flashlight and it's not just any flashlight. This light is wonderful. It has a key ring so you can hang it on a key ring. You can put it in your pocket, but this little thing doubles as a way to put this onto a hat. So you'll slip this right onto your hat and that way when you turn on your light, you are able to adjust your light down or up depending on where you need it to be so that you can see in front of you. And it also has a couple of different adjustments on the light brightness as well as something that's red. So if you're reading a map, you'll be able to see that without blinding yourself at night. And then you can turn this off and go back to following your route with this. So even if you're just out walking your dog or something, this is a great little light to have as you can see. This is a wonderful gift. Always makes sense to have a light and this one is multi-purpose. Now I know many of you think buying a pen for a man is not a great gift. However, this pen is special because it's not only a pen that writes black, but it writes red as well as becomes a mechanical pencil. All right, this pen is spectacular. First of all, I love the feel in my hand. It's kind of this soft metal, it's really just 
this is a sexy pen. And here it'll write in a pencil and by twisting it, it'll write into a pen. I think this is black. And then it writes in red. What a great pen pencil combo to give to anyone really uh, on your travel list. This is one of my favorite things and I carry this in my purse every day. This last thing I have here is a carabiner on this Velcro tab. This little Velcro hook allows you to put it onto almost any size handle right here from something large as my hand to something as small as maybe even just a roller bag and allows you to hook multiple things to it. Um, I use this on my luggage to carry my water bottle or sometimes extra bags if I've had something extra with me. So a great little gift. Comes in a variety of designs and colors, but another great stocking stuffer. I also use this if I'm traveling in a car and I'll put this around the headrest, um, the little post of the headrest, and then I can put my purse right in here and it keeps it in place. So that way, if the brakes are hit, my purse doesn't go flying all over the front of the car and everything spilling out or keeping a backpack in place. Also for luggage, if you wanna hold some extra bags or anything like that, this is a great thing to have. Another great handy thing to have, multiple uses, a great stocking stuffer for your traveler. So which was your favorite of all of these little gadget stocking stuffers for your traveler? Let me know in the comments below. I'll put a link to all of these things in the video description so you can go down there and pick and choose what you'd like to give to your mail traveler this holiday season. Until the next time, thanks for joining me. And remember, juice life, drink the joy, keep life simple. Remember to get a little stocking stuffer for your favorite mail traveler or for yourself or a female traveler. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.